Hello! Alright, so we all remember a couple months back when DSI got the metal world in an uproar by releasing an AI album cover for their upcoming record, Banished by Sin. If you haven't heard of AI, it stands for uh, Artificial Intelligence. Uh, there was that Steven Spielberg movie with the, the kid in it, you know. Uh, so you can look it up if you haven't heard of it. Uh, a lot of metal fans think album art is very important. I, I also, you know, happen to agree. Uh, so an AI album cover was interpreted as essentially like, like a fart to the face for artists all over the world, you know. Uh, hell, man, even I made a video talking shit about it, and I got like 1,900 views, man. And, you know, a lot of people agree with me, but there were a few dummies who were like, album art doesn't matter, all I care about is riffs, riffs, the riffs, you know. And of course, you know, J-Dog posted some video where he was like, who cares, brah, brah. The GB does what he wants or, you know, some shit like that. And, uh, you know, Mortis Skull did an AI cover, which you would expect from those guys. Then Pestilence did an AI cover, which, hell, you'd also expect from those guys. Uh, and the Pestilence one was probably the shittiest fucking one uh, out of all of them, man. Uh Man, you know, luckily in that case, man, we all successfully, like, kind of bullied them into changing the cover. But uh, Glenn Benton, he's like an unstoppable, uh, he's like a giant wall or something. He just he can't be tamed, can't get uh, Glenn Benton to change his mind, you know. So he did some interview on some podcast, and uh, <clears throat> he was asked about, you know, the big elephant in the room, man, the AI album cover. So uh, Glenn had a few comments about it. I'm not going to read everything he said. He said a lot of shit and didn't even really directly address the issue just kind of talked in circles let's take a look man all right so i'm switching to the other tab we're on blabbermouth now all right let's see okay quote glenn benton said well people don't understand that the album cover that we did it was done with photoshop and with some ai but it's a more modern version it's like legion when I did the Legion album cover, computers were still fucking new. Nobody knew anything about three-dimensional artwork or any shit like that. And I was the first person to even fucking fuck with that. <laughs> I was the first person to even fucking fuck with that when I designed the Legion album cover. Now, I've been in the computers and all that shit since they all came out, so I may be ahead of a lot of people when it comes to computers. I have two iMacs and MacBook Pro and iPad Pro. Wow, he's an expert. So I'm a little versed with the whole computer age and in Photoshop and all that stuff and that. <laughs> he goes on to say, quote, I like to do something different and provocative. I know the whole AI thing, everybody's up in arms, but it was meant to stir. People don't understand. It's a modernization of dot, dot, dot. It's a sign of the time that we're in. People just can't. And then he pauses and he says, their first reaction is like oh he's trying to put all of us artists out of work and i'll be stuck drawing penises in men's bathrooms for the rest of my life <laughs> and it's really ridiculous man it's just a form of art and expression so i think people should just really stop being ridiculous and accept it for what it is man it's a sign of the times or he goes on to say god damn there's a ton of shit here man fuck i'm scrolling i'm scrolling Trying to, oh yeah, here's a funny one. I remember this. He says, quote, and I don't take other people's feelings or their ideas, or I don't sit here and think, well, what's this blue haired kid in Nebraska going to think about, <laughs> going to think about the album cover? I do what I do because I like it and I don't give a shit what anybody else thinks. So if it pisses people off and it's really more like these bandwagon little shitheads, they all want to jump on the bandwagon, boo hoo hoo. But here's the thing, how hypocritical it is, because my art was being stolen and stepped all over in the 90s. And uh, he goes on to bitch and complain a little bit. Uh, yeah, so, uh, <clears throat> you know, I mean, I think, uh, personally, you know, I think artificial intelligence artwork for an album cover is pretty stupid. You know, this is me talking, not Glenn, obviously. Uh, but honestly, man, Glenn's response is so fucking funny that I, I kind of don't even care anymore, man. Like, I, I I would not be surprised if the music and lyrics were AI as well, man. So, fuck, man. Does it really fucking matter? Uh, Glenn basically just told us all, all of us fucking little nerds, all of us blue-haired nerds, to just go suck a fucking dick. And you gotta respect that, man. 
Um, well, you don't have to, but you can kind of respect that, man, considering that, you know, Patrick Mamelli from Pestilence, man, he caved like a little bitch. And, you know, frankly, I'm glad he did, but he caved. He caved, man. And, you know, Glenn used to stand against Jesus Christ, you know, I guess he still does, man. He hates JC, he hates God, wants to take a shit on God. And uh, I guess somewhere along the way, man, when Glenn was like smoking pot and drinking whiskey, like he, he figured out that like, you know, a lot of famous artwork like Michelangelo and all those dudes, man, like a lot of their art, a lot of old artwork is, you know, religious in nature, man. You got a lot of religious artwork from back in the day. So he connected that shit and he was like, fuck artwork, you know? So on some level, I guess it's logically consistent, man. But what I don't understand is like, you know, if these fuckers are just wanting to save money, uh, which let's be honest, that's what it comes down to. Like no matter what uh, pseudo philosophical stance they pretend to take, it's all about fucking money and saving money. But, uh, they don't want to pay someone to do shit, so they're like, you know, hey, let's just type shit in on fucking uh, Bing AI, you know? But if they're wanting to save money, like, why don't they just make the cover a picture of the band, man? Like, I think it'd be easier and probably cooler if Glenn Benton just, like, took a fucking selfie of himself. And, uh, because <laughs> the album cover for that Banished by Sin shit is basically, it's like a... AI, like, you can kind of see, the like, the character on the cover kind of looks like Glenn Benton, man, and, uh, he could have just took a fucking selfie and stuck the Deicide logo on top of it, man, and just call that the cover. Probably be easier, you know, wouldn't have to get on Google or anything, just pull out his phone and, you know, uh, because regardless, man, you know, I mean, Deicide's been around for fucking, you know, decades now, I mean, people are gonna order the record and go to the show and buy the shirt, even if the album cover was, like, I don't know, a, a giant uh, piece of broccoli or some shit, you know? People don't care. I mean, when, when you're a band like that, I mean, people went out and bought fucking, you know, Dance of Death by Iron Maiden, which, yeah, I think that's got some really good shit on it, like Passchendaele and shit like that. But uh, that's one of the worst album covers ever, and people, people forgave Maiden for that, you know? But, uh, so what do you guys think, man? Uh, do, do you think the Mona Lisa or the Sistine Chapel or Dali's Persistence of Memory would look better if they'd been designed by the Bing AI generator, you know? Uh, where where do you stand? You know, let us know in the comments, man. I know I can always expect some, you know, really intelligent, well-reasoned philosophical discourse from Deicide fans, man. So let's make it happen, man. Uh, thanks for watching.